it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Right then, this is Bump and Burn on the Amiga CD32. You can see what this is. It's a attempt to do a Mario Kart style game on a system that isn't capable of doing a Mario... Well, it is capable actually, but they've just done a piss poor job of it. You don't have the Mode 7, so you have the colour swapping stripes that just look really cheap and crappy. Um, but it does... It's got some things going for it. Not many, but some. I think the... Uh, the sprite scaling, which isn't really scaling at all, you know, it's the different size sprites, but whatever. That works quite well. It's, uh, it's quite smooth. Um, like those, that's they're quite impressive. But there's a lot that's just so completely meh. This bit reminds me, actually, of, um, is it Double Dash? Whoops. Or is it Mario Kart Wii? I don't know, with the big thing up the side. Banking. It's quite good. So you've got pickups here, but I don't, I don't know how they work or if they work even. Uh, I mean, yeah. what? I'm pushing a button there to do something, but I don't know if it's actually doing anything. It doesn't seem to. Uh. It just doesn't seem to do anything when you push a button that supposedly fires a weapon or drops a weapon or does something. It just, you know, there's a complete lack of anything happening. Oh, well that worked. I'm flashing. Yay, because everyone... <laughs> everyone wants to flash while they're driving, don't they? Um, or not. We'll flash some more. Yeah. Um, music's alright. Uninspired generic pop stuff. I guess that was oil. It's hard to tell. What? Oh, bloody Nora. Yay. Whoops. Yeah, it, it's kind of hard to tell just what the hell is going on. But there is an. What was that? Oh bollocks. There is a, an element of fun to be had here. I mean it is, it's pretty weak as a game. It is, n in no way is this any Mario Kart sort of quality or enjoyment or anything like that. But there is a certain amount of fun to be had here given the limitations of, well, it's not really of the system, it's just of the game I guess. The sprites, the characters are so utterly tediously generic. I mean, and these are meant to be two dinosaurs in some kind of, like, uh, stone cart, like on a, what the hell was it? I've already forgotten. Flintstones. Yes, yeah, it's like a Flintstones car. Yay, I can chuck bones. And I'm in second. Who'd have thunk it? That's kind of amusing, actually. You can hear the, the car sliding on the corners, but it's not actually really sliding. You, you don't have to back off the accelerator. Yeah. Yeah. Final lap. Or are we f we're finished. I came second. That's quite surprising, really. Results, because I don't know that I came second, do I? Count chaos. Yeah, the did do, dodge, dodgy dinos. Well, dodgy, yeah, definitely. Eric the Eskimo, Frank and the oh, cheese. Who thought of these? But Tooth Beaver Brothers. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Not that. We'll just grand slam. Whatever. Would you like to visit my goodie shop? That just sounds wrong. Hello, little boy. Would you like to visit my goodie shop? No, piss off, you're a pervert. 
There we go. This looks like exactly the same circuit. Loading times for what is a double speed CD-ROM are bloody appalling. I think that would have loaded more quickly from a floppy drive. Is this the same place? It certainly looks like it. That's pretty weak, isn't it? I'm in first place and I missed all the stars. Oh. Get back here, you bastard. So that's the sort of super speedy power up button then, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I suppose back in the day, if I had never played Mario Kart, but I wanted a karting style racing game for my CD32 because it was the only console I had, this would keep me entertained, I think. Um, if you had nothing to compare this to, and you didn't realise just how technologically dated it was, it's alright. I mean, um... Yeah. No. I don't know what that did, but we did it anyway. You know, you, you could have as much or probably more fun playing Lotus Turbo, but if you wanted the cute characters and wanted to throw things around from your car, then it's, it's all right, you know. It's shockingly just, what? Oh. What the hell? It, oh yeah, whoops. Bones, we've got bones. Ah, uh, I should stop going through those things. I'll uh, run out of bones. Oh, now we've got more bones. Oh, I got him. I think that's a mine. I think I just laid a mine. That's a speed up. I don't know if picking up all of the money or whatever it is helps. It's, it's really hard to tell very often whether anything at all is happening in terms of power ups. I mean, that looks like a big thumbtack, but I don't know. You don't ever. Yeah. You don't ever. What's that? Armor plating? I don't know. Whoops. That was cool. Yeah. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, we'll just drive straight through the trackside barrier thingy. What's it? Why not? Doesn't seem to be slowing me down any. Where's the road? There it is. In front of me. What? Bugger off. Hmm. Yeah, I've kind of run out of things to say actually. It's all, well the track's exactly the same as far as I can tell. There are other tracks that you can select at the start. But here we are doing what I assumed to be a second race. And it's exactly the same. So that's kind of pointless. I, I, uh, if the layout is different, it's completely irrelevant because the scenery is exactly the same. So, like, what's the point? Come on, get back on the. Oh, we're finished. Third. Okay. Results. Don't care. Just don't care. Grand slam. Blah blah blah. Would you like to? Yeah. All right. Let's have a look in your crappy little shop then. Engine, tires, bump, power booster, whatever. Do we have enough money for any of these? I don't know. Oh yes, thanks for the cash. Yeah, you greedy bastard. I mean, I, oh, I've got a bit of... What? Ah, you stroppy bastard. I guess I don't have enough money. There's nothing there to tell me how much money it is. So, sod you. Come on, let me out there. Now can I go to a different circuit please? I would like to. Aha! We can go to a different circuit. We'll go to the volcano. Because everyone likes Welcome driving... To the volcano. No, no, shut up. Everyone likes driving at volcanoes. 
There we go. I have just edited out the most massive loading pause. It must have been a good couple of minutes. That's just pathetic. Strange that you don't seem to go to the next circuit unless you go to the shop. It seemed that way. It may not be. It may have just... What the bloody Nora? Well, that's a bit harsh. That could be a problem in the future. Hey, get off! You bastard! What the fuck? Get off! No! You ass! Well, that wasn't nice. Instant, well, fail to complete level thing. And have, well, uh, oh, oh, bloody no, oh, wow, okay, that's a bit, um, power drift, whoops. That was technically quite impressive. I mean, this is, well, okay. Uh, fuck off! Get off of me! You bastard, what a, whoa. The music's funky. I like, I'm, I'm, uh oh, shh. Yeah, oops. Oh, I just went right through that one. Oh, whatever. What's that, what? Extra time. Cool, Ex I bloody need it, I think. I don't like that big canyon bit, it's just nasty. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, blimey. No. No. Shut up. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. I just floated through mid... Oh, bollocks. All right. This is actually gaining in appeal. Um, there is some variety here, enough to make it sort of amusing. That, oh. It's that what's it going to do next element because it's kind of unpredictable and there's a little bit of imagination gone into it yeah, I'm surprised my initial reaction was this is just a sack of shit but it's growing on me the music helps oh we made it over the canyon thing what's that ow oh bollocks seventh Come on, come on, get down onto the road thing. I mean, this thing has no sprite scale, oh shh, no sprite scaling hardware at all. It is, you know, it, uh, it'll it throw sprites around, but not scale, oh shit, not scale them. So I mean, yes, it's doing that. They, they kind of jump up and down in size depending on how far away they are from you and stuff. But it, it kind of works. It's not doing too badly. That cartoony style works for it. It is still tragically generic in the characters that they've chosen, but I am finding it amusing. Certainly on this level. Oh, you bastard, just get off. Okay, you gotta waggle your pad from left to right to get the, the pterodactyl to let go of you. No! Come on, get a move on. Two, six, ah. Oh. Yeah. Fail. Are we still... No, what's going on then? Oh, I suppose we're waiting for the others. Interesting. Come on. What now? Probably have to do that one again. Results. I know what the results are. I did shite. That would be amusing to see that come up on the screen. User credit to continue play. Yes. No, I don't think so. That is amusing, because it would just put us on the same circuit, wouldn't it? We don't want to do that one again, because I suck at it. 
that is actually all right. I, it, it's very flawed. It's incredibly generic. It's not ever going to be Mario Kart. But if you don't bother comparing it to Mario Kart and accept that it is just a dated stripe swapping to simulate movement kind of game, it's actually quite... Uh, it's entertaining. It has no class whatsoever. It, it, in terms of pedigree, it's just like... Pfft, it's a mangy old mutt. But... Mangy old mutts can be fun. Chuck a bone, watch them chase it and fall in the water and laugh at them. Yeah. Um, if I had a CD32 back in the day and I had this for it, and I had never seen Mario Kart, I, I would have been quite satisfied, I think. I had a girlfriend who looked like that once. Okay, that'll do. Shutting up now. Bump and burn. CD32. It's alright. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up button. I upload videos daily, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. To all those who've already subscribed, I'd just like to say a great big thank you.